Cameras have come a long way. Kid you not, in my younger years, I actually hung my Sony Handycam from my neck trying to do what we do today with our action cameras. This here is my entry level GoPro session. Today, brand new, it retails for about 150 US dollars. I paid 60 bucks for mine a few months back. Yeah, I bought it used. And I'm quite happy with it. It's the camera I use to record all of my rides. I shoot my videos in 1080, 30 frames per second, super view. Now this one here is the Icontex Ultra HD 4K edition action camera. It's budget friendly, coming in at 75 US dollars on Amazon. Now, I didn't buy this action camera. It was sent to me a few weeks back so that I could take it for a ride and review it. The packaging is similar to that of a GoPro, and it comes with quite a few accessories. The quality of the camera mounts appear to be comparable to GoPro mounts. And the camera itself, well, it's a good looking camera. It does, however, have a plastic feel, which makes me wonder about its ability to handle accidental drops. In terms of size and weight, it's significantly lighter than my session. A bit wider, but slim. It captures video, photos, burst photo, and time lapse. Video resolutions range from 720, 120 frames per second, to 4K at 25 frames per second. This camera also comes Wi-Fi equipped. I first downloaded the app from the App Store, and it's also available on Google Play. And installation and use of the app was pretty straightforward. As for battery life, I did a simple test. I fully charged the battery, set recording at 1080, 30 frames per second, and I went to bed. From 10.23 p.m. to 12.09 a.m., that's about an hour and 46 minutes of continuous recording time, which isn't bad, considering that a second battery comes included. With all of that, let's hit the trail and see how the Icontex action camera performs against the GoPro session. I took two runs down the same trail with both cameras mounted underneath my helmet visor. I try to match the settings on both cameras as much as the options would allow me to. Do notice that super view and wide angle field of view on the GoPro are on. First up, the underdog. Next up, the reigning champ. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the same footage in slow motion. Well, what do you think? Did you notice a difference in audio and video quality? Personally, the eye context will not be replacing my GoPro session as my primary camera. But I do plan on using it on future content as a secondary camera. And I've also found other fun and valuable uses for it. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. And if you'd like to learn more about the Icontex action camera, I've included a few links in the description, along with a 10% off coupon code that's good for one week.
the mirror, but she mirrors the mirror. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, God bless.